Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining Our Mechs. Today we are testing the Thunderhead Creations Torin Mech in stainless steel, brass, and copper. Uh, each of them comes with this really nice uh, aluminum tube, cloth bag, the X-Chip Protection Module, which allows you to take a standard hybrid top mechanical mod and turn it into a protected device for an 18650 only. These take uh, 2700s, 21700s also. Uh, this I tested, it's about a 0 0.2 volt drop, about five watts power loss through this, but I, I think that's worth it considering the protections you can get. Also comes with an 18650 adapter. But check my video for the Torin Max mech for any uh, test results on this one, but otherwise about five watts loss through this. And let's get started. Now I'm using a aluminum solid aluminum slug inside a device because what we can do is over here, this is the standard setup I always use for a Mac. We read the voltage drop across the posts of the atomizer and that'll include the voltage drop through the atomizer, through the Mac and through the aluminum slug that just allows the current to flow through. We then subtract the voltage drop which I already measured previously from the atomizer and the aluminum slug and we're left with voltage drop of just the mod. This is an electronic load that draws 30 amps from a power supply that is above it. And what I do to prevent any kind of arcing damage, if there is any, or there'll always be some, but different amounts of arcing damage or different mechs, to prevent that from affecting my test results, what I do is I close the contact in the mech and then I fire a two second pulse of current at 30 amps. And by using this electronic load, and these two second pulses, only when the contact close, there is no arcing. And then when the pulse stops, I open the contacts and this lets me repeat the test as many times as I need to, knowing that, without worries, knowing that there's no arcing inside here until I do a separate arcing test. And let's just confirm that we get zero volts here. Okay, 0.08 millivolts, so that's 80 microvolts. Now the Torin Max, was about 0 0.061 volts here, 61 millivolts. That was, uh, I forgot what the wattage was. You can check the voltage drop table for that, but that was pretty good performance. And that was uh, a brass one. So we'll see how this, these three metals compare to each other and also how they compare to the Torin Max. And in order to get a consistent grip on these, each one will get a bit of grip tape. It's not gonna be pretty, it's just gonna work. Okay, this much better grip that I can get on it. And I'll press the button to make sure we're at zero and fire two second pulse and we'll read the voltage. 0 0.27, 0 0.35. So right now that's about five times the voltage drop. That's very high uh, of the Torrent Max. 0 0.33, 0 0.34. Oh, this is the stainless steel one. That's right. Okay. 0.33. Okay, so this is 0 0.33. I don't know the wattage on that yet, but I will put that up on the screen right now. And let's compare that. Let's go on to the brass. The one thing I don't, it's not that I don't like it, but something that bothers me a little bit in terms of getting the best performance out of this, when you screw it all the way in, it's hard to get it any tighter than a certain amount because you can get it tight, but getting it undone is very hard. There's no place to get a grip, even if you're getting like a rubber pad or something like that. So you really can't take a chance in tightening this too tight because it's gonna be very hard to get it loose. That I think is gonna affect the voltage drop of all three compared to the Torn Max where you can really crank on the button and tighten everything down. Okay, and we'll fire it. Make sure it goes to zero. Okay, and firing the pulse. And this should do better than the stainless steel. And firing, and it is 0.25 instead of the 0.33 of the stainless steel. 0 0.26, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 when you round it off. 0.23, let's get a little better. Let's see if uh, breaking it in maybe a little bit, pushing the grease out of the way. These do use a dielectric grease in the contact and we'll test it with and without the grease. All right, let's see if that improves anything a little bit. Well, 0.25, all right, so we'll call it 0.25. So it's definitely better than the stainless steel, 
but not nearly as good as the Torn Max. And that may be that tightening of the button that has a, a big effect. I don't know. And let's try the copper one now. Okay, make sure this goes to zero when I press the button. It does. And we will fire. Two second pulse. Well, so far it's looking about the same as the brass. 0 0.26, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, consistent. That's fantastic. The torrents have, have been consistent. That's one thing I like, 0.248. Okay, got dropped a little bit. Let's see what happens if I give it a few presses. Just see if maybe there's a high point or something like that. All right, let's try this again. 0 0.24, 0 0.24 when rounded, 0.24. All right, it's 0.24, so it's essentially identical to the brass. Okay, so the copper one did about four times higher voltage drop than the uh, Torn Max, the same the copper and the brass one, they're almost identical. Then about five times higher, a little bit, five and a half times higher for the stainless steel one than the Torrent Max did. And I'll throw up on the screen now the power losses through them. Whoops, this goes better if you put it in that way. And we can look at the uh, power loss of these compared to some of the others. For the stainless steel, we've got about to a 9.4 watt loss, which is pretty high. Um, it's not terrible for stainless steel, but that you would notice, that's at 30 amps, it's about 105 watt vape. You would lose about you know, a little over nine watts going through here. For the brass and the copper, almost identical results, about 6.7 watts or so. The final numbers will be in the voltage drop table, link in the description. Now the uh, brass Torrent Max was about 1.3 watts. Uh, for the testing I did with the conductive grease in place. What I'm going to do now is take the brass one and remove the conductive grease and we'll retest the voltage drop and see what the difference is with and without the grease. Because for the Torrent Max, it was about 1.3 watts with the grease, voltage drop, excuse me, volt, uh, power loss, and about 0 0.7, about half the power loss, when we took the grease out. Uh, now, Thunderhead Creation says the grease helps prevent um, uh, arcing damage uh, from happening. It minimizes the arcing and stuff like that. I haven't done a lot of testing on that. I don't know. But it does do that at the expense of um, power loss. So, you know, if it suppresses arcing, that's great. But you will lose a little bit of power through the grease. And we'll find out what the loss is now through here by going inside. But now the Torn Max came with a tool that you could use piece of metal you can use to undo that. I have to use a pair of pin pliers. Hopefully this isn't in too tightly when you get yours and you can just use your fingers You go like this to get everything open. And here it is. So there, that's what's up against the battery. There's some of the grease there and that silver ball that's touching the contact on the back side, And then that silver ball touches the four clutch plates with the spring around the outside. And those clutch plates, when the ball presses down into it, clutch plates spread out to the side and pass the current to the housing and then through the threads and through the rest of the device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the grease off the clutch plates and underneath those and also from the ball. Okay, grease cleaned off. Let's put the uh, uh, button assembly back together again. And we'll check for zero volts when I press the button. Yes. And let's fire a two-second pulse. The brass did 0 0.25 volts, about um, 6.7 watt power loss at 105 watts. Let's see what it does now. Wow. Okay. 0 0.055. That's a little better. 
0 0.06. Doesn't say that's a little better than the uh, torn max, but that was the 0 0.061. Let's see, the torn max, checking the chart here. Torn max was uh, 0 0.061 with its conductive grease, conductive grease. So I think it was about 0 0.042 with the grease taken out. And this is 0 0.059. 0 0.059, 0 0.06, the other one says so 0.059 and change. I'm gonna call it 0 0.06 volts, which is very good. That's a big change. That's a uh, one fourth the loss that it was seeing uh, with the grease in it. So for me, uh, it's definitely worth it to take the grease out. The only difference, the only problem is, You can hear the plates rattling around a bit, but uh, yeah, just casually using it, you can hear the plates shifting because the grease actually kept the plates from sliding around. They, they wouldn't slide easily. They would move back and forth, but they wouldn't rattle around. So that is the one downside to having a great performance because that 0.061 uh, with the grease removed, that's about a 1.3 watt power loss at 105 watts. It's 1%. Uh, power loss, so that's fantastic performance. And let's do the arcing testing and seeing what happens. I wouldn't expect any difference than the uh, what we got with the Torn Max, which is very, very little arcing, but I want to test it anyway and be thorough. And I'm going to do that on the copper one. All the contacts are the same. It's a silver ball and silver clutch plates. Not too worried about any kind of difference. Here we can use the Samsung 30T rewrapped. And I'm going to use a 0 0.1 ohm load. And what happens is I press the button 200 times and then we'll take a look at the contacts. And I'm not using the brass one because I want the grease in place. I want to be able to take a look at the arcing the uh, same way you would have it with the grease in place. And what I'll do is I'll press the button 200 times you will not have to watch that. And then we'll come back and we'll take a close look at the contacts. And one, two, three, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Okay. And what we're doing is we're looking for arcing damage where this ball you can see a couple of dots there already where this ball touches the contact plates, the clutch plates. And we'll also look at the clutch plates themselves. And what I'll do is while I'm looking at it with this magnifier, I'll throw up some macro photographs so you can see some close-ups. And let's take a look at the ball first. Okay, do you see some arcing in a bunch of different spots? It looks like the grease gets carbonized by the spark. And I'm going to take a look now at the clutch plate and I'll throw up a photograph of that. Okay, yeah, I see uh, quite a few arc points, but they're not deep, they're not bad. I think a lot of that is the grease itself. That gets carbonized and when you wipe off the grease, you're left with just um, tiny points of damage on it. So I'd say this is very minor arcing. And so performance on these, about average. I think, uh, I think there's a big penalty that you pay by not being able to tighten, crank this down. You can crank it down. It's just got to take a chance of, you know, maybe not getting it off. So you've got about a uh, 6.7 watts. So I was saying six, about 6.7 watts lost through this with the grease. But with the grease taken out of the one test that I did, we're down to about 1.3 watts. So we saved over five watts of power loss by taking the grease out. Now, I think that's gonna vary by, even if you stay with the same metal, if you test 10 different copper ones, it's gonna be different because the grease and its distribution, how much are you squeezing out of the way, how much arcing damage was there before, et cetera, is gonna affect what improvements you have uh, every time you replace the grease 
or uh, every time you, you know, when you take the grease out or something like that, I think there'll be variations from the device to de uh, device. Uh, not a lot, but a little bit here. It might be one watt here, one watt there. But it looks like overall, you can get a pretty good performance jump, taking these up to, to very good performers if you take the grease out. This is about average um, for the stainless steel. If you, uh, you know, 9.4 watts with the grease in, but if you take, about five watts out, you left it about four, four and a half watts, and that leaves you about the same power loss as the Vindicator, uh, the Clutch, all of those were in the four, four and a half watt range. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.